Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at how to paint a space marine with just these four colors. These are inks, and the references are in the description, but first let me explain what we're going to do. We are going to paint a light effect like on this miniature, or even this one. And for that, we are going to use this airbrush. This video is not sponsored. I'm just showing you that cool things can be done with just a basic airbrush and really basic skills. For those who are still hesitant, just look at the price compared to GW's base coat spray paints. So the principle is simple, apply red from bottom to top, and blue from top to bottom. Just like this, to give the effect that there are two separate light sources. The result should approximately look something like this. Now, let's see how to do it. We will need gloves that clap, that's important. Like really, really important. Excellent. The great thing about inks is that they don't have to be thinned. But you can use classic paints as well. That said, the price quality ratio is very good in my opinion for these inks. The first color I'll be using is a classic red on top of a black coat. I'm applying it from bottom to top. Here I show you how I clean my airbrush with this old lens cleaner solution. I'm just using the container, there is water in it. The images are at the actual speed so you can see that this is quite fast. I'd say it take between 2 and 4 minutes. When the water comes out clear, I move on to the next color. If you want, you can clean the inside with a cotton swab, and you're good to go. The second color will be dark blue, which I apply from above like this. We can't see well on camera, because the color is dark. The next step is just to apply highlights with the lighter shade on top. I choose the most exposed areas for this. And finally, I add a little white to my previous color to lighten up the most theoretically exposed areas one last time. The end result looks like this. We only have one last step left, very important to see the light effects on the base, which is to paint the outline. Isn't this relaxing to watch and even more to do? Let me know in the comments if you're also always satisfied to paint the rim of your bases when you're finished painting your miniatures. There you go, if you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing and let me know if you want any other different tips.